I just got back from dropping the boys off at daycare. Um, I'm gonna have my AG1 because I haven't had anything yet to eat or drink today. And then I need to get started on my kitchen organization. So things are just looking really cluttered. I feel like I need to go through cabinets and get rid of some things and just reassess some of the ways that I have things organized. So that is what we are doing today. If you are in need of kitchen organization ideas, be sure to subscribe to my channel because I have like a bazillion videos on this and it's just a constant work in progress. I feel like there's kind of this misconception that once you have organized a space that you are good to go forever and that's just not the case. You're always going to have to reorganize things, revisit things, and that is what we are doing today. Today's video is kind of a mishmash, if you will, of decluttering and organization ideas. So we're starting off with some decluttering, actually a huge declutter, and then we're doing some light organizing. And then later on in the video, I'm sharing some new, extremely affordable, budget-friendly organization products. And I have some really cool stuff and some unique ideas for you. So be sure to stay tuned for all of that. Right now, we are starting off with removing everything from this closet. This closet houses pretty random stuff. So it's got like paper towels, a bunch of different kitchen appliances, this bin that just was full of all kinds of stuff, back stock of food and things for our cats and stuff like that. So it was looking a huge mess. It really needed to be taken apart and cleaned out and then everything gone through so that we could better utilize this space. But while you are watching me do that, I wanted to address the inevitable comment about my kitchen not being small and that I should not call it small. I choose to use the term small kitchen in my titles because I always aim my ideas at those of you who are working with less space and who need the ideas to utilize your space a little bit better. That being said, I've done so many small space organization videos here on my channel, so if you are in need of ideas, be sure to subscribe and check out all my other videos. We dedicate this one little shelf here to our cats. We try to keep a back stock of their food and it's always better to eliminate that excess packaging. So I always take all of their food out of the packaging and stack it up nicely. And I also try to make sure that I'm putting the newest ones in the back and pulling the older cans out front. But now that I have done all of that in the closet, I'm going to go through all of the items that were in there and figure out what we can part with. Decluttering can be really hard and it can also bring up a lot of different emotions for whatever reason and I certainly struggle with that. So if you feel the same way, just know that you are not alone. But for example, I have this waffle maker that you can see on the screen here. It's kind of in the right towards the back of my island. And I've had that waffle maker for about nine years and it was a gift and I've honestly used it maybe once and I found it to be not very user friendly. I prefer to pull out our little mini like single waffle maker. I just find that so quick and so easy and it makes the waffles perfectly every time. There's just no guesswork to it and I love that about it. So I've been carrying this waffle maker around from house to house for the past nine years and I just don't need it anymore. It was time to get rid of it and I'm just going to donate it and I'm sure that there's somebody else out there who will appreciate it a lot more than I did. At this point, I'd kind of figured out what I wanted to keep and what I wanted to get rid of. So I'm just going to walk around, put things either back where they belong, put them in a pile for donations, or I'm going to put them back into the closet if I'm choosing to keep them in there. These are all the items that I am decluttering from the closet and where that chicken came from. It's a long story, but that is leaving my house. It's so loud and annoying. And this is how the closet is looking after. So it's not perfect. It's not anything to ride home about, but it's more functional for us and we're able to keep a better back stock of things. So like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, I was having my AG1 and if you are unfamiliar, AG1 is a daily foundational nutrition supplement that supports whole body health. I've had a very hard time ever since having our second baby just keeping up with a wellness routine. 
but I've been making a conscious effort to slowly build back up my self-care. So I've started taking workout classes, I've been going on at least a walk every day, and also of course incorporating AG1 into my morning. I know what you're thinking, does it taste like grass? No, it doesn't. AG1 tastes good, I was super worried about that because I'm quite picky, but it tastes a little bit like pineapple to me and I actually enjoy it and it's easy to get down. I know I do not get enough nutrients in my diet, so I feel good about drinking AG1 and knowing I'm getting those nutrients that I'm lacking. I'm not a coffee drinker, but I do like a caffeinated drink of some sort every day, and of course with the caffeine comes the crash, but I don't experience that with AG1, so it's been helping me really cut back on caffeine while still maintaining the energy that I need as a mom. I just feel like by starting my day with AG1, I'm not only fueling myself with nutrients, but I'm also putting myself in the right mindset to have a healthy and productive day. AG1 improves my digestion it supports my immune health and I'm just super excited to share it with all of you. So if you would like to try AG1, I will have the link down below in my description box and that will get you a free one-year supply of AG vitamin D3 and K2 plus five AG1 travel packs with your first purchase of AG1. Such a great deal. Definitely don't let it go to waste and I just want to say thank you to AG1 for sponsoring today's video. I really needed to organize this drawer. This is where I keep all of our cleaning cloths and kitchen towels, and I had not folded them and put them away in quite some time, so it was much needed. I had a full laundry basket of all clean towels. So I'm just folding them all, putting them away. I really like these bamboo dividers that you can see in this drawer here. I believe I got those from Amazon. They are adjustable, so they'll fit in most drawers depending on the depth and they also have little dividers that you can choose to use as well. You can kind of tell here that there are notches in these adjustable dividers. I feel like I'm saying the word dividers so many times, but anyway, there are little notches that you can insert additional dividers in to further section off your drawer. I don't use them in this one in particular, but in another drawer in my kitchen, I do use these dividers with the additional dividers to further section off that drawer. Hopefully that makes sense. That was such a mouthful. Anyway, after that whole thing, I do have all of the items that I use Typically, they're from Amazon, so they'll be in my Amazon storefront, which is linked down below in my description box if you are interested in any of the things that you see in my videos. And here is the drawer looking all organized and pretty and super colorful. This cabinet here needed some major decluttering. I had so many things in here that I'm not using, that I don't need, so I just needed to go ahead and do this. This is like that cabinet that you just kind of throw stuff in and forget about, and it was just not good. So I'm taking every single thing out of the cabinet, of course, so I can actually see what's in there, and I found a whole ton of stuff that I did not know I had. I always make sure when I am decluttering and organizing to also vacuum out the space and just wipe it down because there's no point in putting everything back into a dirty space. When you have it all cleaned out anyway, you might as well just take the extra step. This is all that I ended up keeping in this cabinet. It looks so much better. And now we're going to move on to one of my upper cabinets, which again was full of all kinds of junk and needed to be sorted through. I'm not going to take out every single thing out of this cabinet like I did in the other ones, but I am going to go through every single item and figure out what I can take out and what needs to stay in there. And then I'm also going to add a shelf riser so that I can better utilize one of these shelves because I was using it for just all of our bowls and spreading them out across the entire shelf. So basically half of this shelf was being wasted before, but by adding a shelf riser, I'm able to better utilize the space that I have to work with by using that vertical space. And this is how this cabinet is looking after going through everything. And if you're wondering about like the plastic cups and the paper plates, those were left over from my son's birthday party and we wanted to make sure that we used them. So now we're moving on to this cabinet, which is kind of an awkward cabinet in the corner, like an upper cabinet in my kitchen. It was obviously cluttered with all kinds of stuff and again, needed to be gone through pretty badly. 
I really wanted to make some room in here for some things that I was storing in the cabinet that's directly below this one on the lower section of my kitchen because there's a lot of clutter in there, which you're going to see in a second. So what I'm doing here is just going through, figuring out what I can get rid of, trying to make some space. And then in a minute, we will go down to that bottom cabinet and also go through that one so I can transfer some things into the top cabinet. Here is the mess that is in that cabinet. So a lot of this was also left over from my son's birthday party, actually from both of my kids' birthday parties over the past seven months. I have stuck everything into this cabinet. So I wanted to, again, go through this cabinet, get rid of things that we no longer need. And then I'm also transferring all of that extra birthday party stuff up into the top of that other cabinet so that we have them the next time a birthday party rolls around and we don't need to repurchase things that we already have. Now this cabinet is looking much better, much more organized. I can actually see what's in there. It's again, not perfect, but that's not what I'm trying to be, not trying to portray perfection. And then this upper cabinet is also looking much better. And again, all that extra birthday party stuff is up at the top. So we have it the next time we need it. And this is everything so far that I had accumulated to either donate or get rid of if it was trash. There was a ton of recycling I had stuffed into a cabinet, don't ask, but that I was finally getting rid of. And then also this Our Place pan. If you guys have these, I absolutely loved mine. However, all of the non-stick kind of burnt off over time. And I think that was my own fault because I was cooking on too high of heat. So just fair warning, if you have one of these, try to cook on a lower heat setting so it doesn't happen to you. But anyway, now we are working on the junk drawer or the utility drawer, whatever you want to call it. This drawer is organized actually pretty well, but it was just too full of too much stuff. But the good news is that because I have such a good organization system going in this drawer, it's relatively easy to clean it up when it does become a mess. My six-year-old goes into this drawer all the time and grabs stuff, and then he doesn't necessarily put them back exactly where they're supposed to be. So I don't want to place all the blame on him, but he definitely messes with it, and that's why it kind of gets as bad as it does. But overall, this system has worked really well and it's definitely nice to have a home for everything so I know where to find something when I'm looking for it. We had run out of pens. I couldn't find pens like anywhere in the house. So I'm restocking those and then I will show you guys how much better this junk drawer is looking after decluttering it. So it's obviously a different day now, but I wanted to include this in the video because I placed an order with Timu for a bunch of organization stuff. And this is the first time I've ever ordered from them. I've actually been very skeptical of their website. I don't know if you guys feel the same way, but I have been a little bit afraid to place an order. But to my surprise, the package showed up at my door. So we're gonna open it together. I have not seen any of this yet. Um, I'll also share like the prices of everything since if you've heard of Timu, they are known for having very low price items. I guess we'll see if any of it's any good. Yeah, I have been kind of avoiding trying out Timu because I've heard 
some mixed opinions on it, but it wasn't until my friend Megan from the channel Loving Life is Megan talked about them that I decided to just give them a try. There was no packing slip in here, so I am gonna pull up my app so I can view my order and tell you guys how much I paid for everything and what they all are because some of it, it comes in like very generic packaging, so I'm honestly not 100% sure what I ordered. <laughs> I got 21 items for $78. On average, everything costs around $3.70. Some of this stuff was like changed, like it wasn't even a dollar, so it's great. So this was actually one of the more pricey items and this is a refrigerator organizer for cans. And I've really been in need of one of these. We drink a lot of seltzer and they just kind of are difficult to organize in the fridge so i'm excited to have this this right here was three dollars and 98 cents and this is like a dish rack but i think i'm going to try and use it with my caraway lids because my friend megan was using it in her video and it just seemed to work for that so i'm going to try that out for this this is basically just like a giant hook that will stick to the wall and it says it's for hats so i might use this like in our entryway closet to organize hats and stuff on as opposed to the bins that i currently use and this was only a dollar 49 so this right here is like a garbage bag organizer and this was five dollars and 98 cents and it comes with two of them oh this is a um this is like a q-tip dispenser and i just thought this was really cute so and this was really inexpensive too this was two dollars and 99 cents so these right here are hooks that slide onto your cabinet shelves and i've actually ordered something pretty much identical in the past from amazon but these ones are only two dollars and 48 cents these are tracks that you can stick onto your shelf i think they just will adhere to like any basket and you can create like a pull out basket this was four dollars and 98 cents so we'll see if it works out so these are wall hooks this was a dollar 48 for four of them and they just are like adhesive and then this is I believe these are adhesive as well these are cable organizers and this pack for five of them was two dollars and 98 cents these are little object dispensers they're really small but they will mount um, to the wall or to the inside of your cabinet. I'll probably use these in like my bathroom for small things on the inside of the cabinet door. And this two pack was $3.49. This is really cool. So these are like cable organizers that you stick onto the back of something and then you can wrap the cord around them to just keep it like out of sight a little bit more. And this pack was six of them and it was $2.78. So these are pretty much just like little zip ties that go around cords to just keep them like together and organized. And this pack was $1.78 and I think there's 10 of them in here. These are hooks that will just go over like your cabinet door so you can hang things from them. And this was a four pack and this was $4.18. And the last organizing item that I got was this compartment refrigerator drain basket. And you can see like in the pictures on the side, that you can use them like a couple of different ways um, to just like clean fruit. You can rinse your fruit off, you can soak your fruit in it, and then you can just lift it up and it will drain all the dirty water out. So I've been watching a lot of like meal prep TikToks and reels and stuff. So I really wanted something like this. And this was again, really affordable. This was, this was $6 and 38 cents. This was actually, one of the priciest items that I bought from Timu. The most expensive thing that I bought from Timu was this vacuum cleaner. And I'm going to try this out in my car and see if I can just like keep it in there for a quick vacuum. But this was, I believe it was like $8. Yeah, this was $8.48. So I'll let you guys know how this works. Um, a couple other things that I got were just like cleaning stuff. And they were all, again, within that like one to three dollar price range and then these i'm excited for these are maybe potentially a less expensive dupe for magic erasers they look identical to them and these were these were three dollars and 98 cents for 12 of them so we will see how these are and then something else that i got was this sponge because it looked kind of like a scrub mommy or a scrub daddy and it was only a dollar so i just wanted to try it out and see how it compares i did also get a couple other things um, like a rice strainer and I think this is like a grill scraper and then this is a something for my son for the bath so I can try to 
rinse his hair without it getting into his eyes because he's really, really bad about leaning his head back. But that was everything that I got from Timu and I'm pleasantly surprised again that everything showed up at my door. So I'm gonna try out a couple of things in this video and we'll just see how it goes. So the first Timu product that we are trying here is that dish rack so that I can organize my caraway pots and pan lids. This worked out super well. This was actually surprisingly sturdy and I also really liked the way that it looks. I have always kept my lids on the inside of my cabinet door and actually Caraway sends you an included organizer for your lids, but it's a little bit too big for my cabinet door. So they kind of stay open a little bit when that's on them. So I decided not to use it. And I was using just an over the door organizer that I got from the container store a while ago. But I don't like that either because my littlest one, he is 18 months old, he comes over and he opens the cabinet doors and he plays with the lids and I'm afraid he's going to hurt himself. So I decided that it would be better to store them inside of the cabinet instead of on the door where he's constantly playing with them. Caraway's pots and pans also come with an included organizer and they're magnetic so you can move them around any way that works for you. So I kind of moved mine around a little bit so that they would fit better in the side of the cabinet as opposed to in the back. And now everything is looking much more organized and you could use this dish rack for so many different things like baking sheets comes to mind as well, but I really like it for these lids. I wanted to show you guys that I did in fact clean out this organizer before I used it. I try to always clean out my bins before I use them for anything. So I'm testing out that sponge that I got from Timu and it's definitely not as good as the scrub mommy or the scrub daddy. It looks relatively similar, but it's just not quite as sturdy. I will say though that I tested them out like side to side, seeing how much they retain the dish soap and how well they lather up. And the Timu one lathered up a little bit better, which was really surprising, and you'll see that here. Now I'm going to show you how that can organizer works. If you've never seen one before, if you've been living under a rock, I feel like they sell them everywhere, but I definitely think that the Timu price is the cheapest price around for these. Now, I am not somebody who really cares about their fridge looking perfectly organized. This to me is just something that makes it a little bit more functional and I always choose function over aesthetic. I absolutely love this next one. It's so simple, but it makes such a big difference. So if you're somebody that leaves your KitchenAid out a lot or you have other appliances on your countertops that you always have cords around, this is a game changer. It's adhesive. It just sticks right onto the back of whatever appliance that you have. And then you can easily wrap your cord around it so that it conceals it a little bit better and it just keeps it contained and it just looks a little bit more organized. Very simple again, but it really does make such a big impact. I feel like you could also use these like in your bedroom if you have a ton of cords, maybe by your nightstand or something. I think I'm going to try and use that in my bedroom. My husband's side of the room has way too many cords and this I think will help a lot. So this honestly might've been like my favorite thing that I got from Timu. I'm demonstrating for you guys how this garbage bag holder works and I'm using it in my bathroom because it's actually the perfect size for like the small trash bags that would fit into a little bathroom trash can. So I decided to use it in there and I just really liked it so I wanted to share it with you guys but you just stick your trash bags in there and it's like a little dispenser and I just think it's really clever and it's adhesive and sticks right onto the inside of your cabinet door or wherever it is that you store your trash bags. So if you happen to store them under your kitchen sink, it would work there as well. These are so cool. So these are tracks that you can turn pretty much any bin into like a pull out drawer and super affordable on Timu really really easy to install everything is adhesive and you can use it i think on like anything any bin that you have 
So I'm just demonstrating this in our pantry and I'm using it for my kids' snacks so that when my six-year-old comes over to the pantry and goes to grab a snack, it's easy for him to see what's in there just by sliding the bin out. And then also it prevents the kids from knocking the bin over and spilling the contents everywhere. So I'm a big fan of this for the pantry. But that is going to be it for today's video. I really hope that you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to click the link in my description box to check out the AG1 website. You can get yourself some free vitamin D3 and K2 and those travel packs. Definitely, definitely don't want that to go to waste. So be sure to check that out. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you'll come back again next week for another video.